This is our new house for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. We have relocated to upstate New York, which is a very big change from Hawaii, but I think it's gonna be really, really good for us, for Freya and for the baby. Um, it's much closer to family and we are in the process of trying to find our own land. But till then, we have this amazing short-term furnished rental. Cause we didn't wanna have to like get tons of furniture. I just wanted to get settled as quickly as possible because the baby, um, while it might not be here any day, it actually is like coming pretty soon. So we had to find a new midwife. Freya is so excited. <laughs> And this place has an amazing backyard, which is like really what we were trying to find. It's like something remote and place for her to run around. And I think I found the best spot ever. And yeah, the house is super cute. We can do like a full tour later, but this will be our bedroom. We've got a little porch out front and the kitchen seems like it has tons of things that we would need. Um, there's even a record player in this house, so oh, I just feel so relieved to be here. We've kind of been bouncing around by different family and it was so nice to catch up with everyone, but I also am feeling like so nesty and I'm like, I need to find a spot where I can live, where I can have this baby. And I think that this is gonna be like the perfect, perfect place for us. Uh, we have it for a couple of months and then we're just gonna have to, a lot of like life right now is just like play it by ear, see how we do see how things shake out. Um, but I'm feeling like really okay with that. And I'm just happy that I got Lou back and I got Freya back and we have a house and it has two bathrooms. Like, come on, what more do you need? It is snowing. You don't even know what that means. Sit. Good sit. Ready for snow? Okay. <laughs> what does the Hawaii dog think of snow? <laughs> yeah? So it is April 1st and it is snowing in upstate New York. Ah, <sighs> the air is really fresh and Freya loves it here. It's so crazy. Like when we would play fetch with her in Hawaii, she was always panting so much. Like even inside, she would pant and pant and pant. And we were like, what is going on? And I think she was just really hot. Like she's got a thick coat. Freya, come here. And now this girl is just in heaven <laughs> and she can run around to her heart's content. The rental has the best backyard and there's no one here. No other dogs, no other people. And I just really like it. It's so peaceful. It's our little house and Ah, I didn't know if we were gonna get snow. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be springtime, but I guess not. Freya, come here! She just runs. It's like Lou used to walk her for an hour a day in the morning, and now she can just run herself. She loves it here. I do too, honestly. It's like really, really peaceful. And it's a totally different kind of beauty. I feel really lucky.
So we have one month left until the baby comes, you know, plus or minus a few weeks. Um, but there is one project that I have been working on, on and off for a really long time that I hope I can finish before he gets here because I really want to share it with you. And I finally feel like living in this little house with proper electricity and unlimited water to do dishes and we have you know no propane issues i can actually get the cookbook that i have been talking about since oh my gosh i think last winter like when go like, oh, two winters ago when we were working on the boat i was like okay i'm gonna make a cookbook and it's finally happening i've been working on it so much the last few weeks and now that we have one left one month left till the baby comes that is basically my number one priority. Well, number one priority, cooking a baby. <laughs> number two priority, cooking for you. Um, and I'm so excited. So today I'm testing our paella recipe that I've been working on and a falafel recipe. But there's so much good stuff in here. There's um, really, really yummy blueberry muffins. Something very exciting is happening. I have made these blueberry muffins like five times, I think, already, and I just switched up the ingredients a lot. And the whole goal was I just wanted them to rise a little bit. Vegan baking is tricky, and these are also now gluten-free because I'm just trying to make them so that they're accessible to everyone. We're not gluten-free, but I know that a lot of people are. And I'm looking in here, and they're rising. Mmm, really good. Yeah? Better consistency? Like, let me look. Wait, that looks more muffy. I think I'm gonna have to try it. We've got a muffin. The texture is honestly way better. That's so like delicate. Right? In a good way, like moist and delicate instead of like stodgy. Overall though, Lou, eight out of 10, seven out of 10? Nine out of 10. What? <laughs> Sunset gold on the fire lit shore and say. have a really big few days ahead of us shooting the cookbook. Um, we started taking photos yesterday, but it was also like a big, the last few days have been like a big prep days because I had to go to a grocery store and I wanted to go to one that like had everything I wanted. So we had to go like an hour away. And then a few last food props, like food styling props because we don't have everything that we like normally have, but I think I have everything that I need. And today we have so many yummy things on the agenda, like sushi burritos and hamburgers, well, vegan burgers, um, shepherd's pie. Um, and I think what's gonna be so nice is that even though we're cooking like an insane amount of food for two people that we obviously can't just eat today, I'm just gonna freeze it all. And then we're gonna have all these goodies for when the baby gets here. And oh, I just really am liking it up here. It's so peaceful and quiet and the cold air is actually quite refreshing. And I'm just really, really excited 
to do all the photos of this cookbook and Lou's been so generous. He's like down to help. I told him it would take two days and we've already had two days of prep and he's like driving me everywhere because he's just being such a sweetie because I'm getting like a little bit tired, honestly. 36 weeks and some days and some change pregnant and I just don't have the stamina for working that I used to, but that's okay. And then the question is, do you put some peanuts in? I think so. So I'll do it like that. Can I? Yeah. You know, sink them. That looks cool. Okay, it is a wrap on day two of shooting the Roots Cookbook. We took so many photos today. Ended with these oatmeal raisin cookies. I am in pajamas now because. <laughs> I did have to take a nap and Lou made pesto pasta and finished the paella without me. But, wow, we did so much and I really, really love how the photos are turning out. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see my belly. Wait, how do I do this? Hey, hey, look at that. Yeah, we are feeling large and in charge. Oh, and the sun is setting. It really has been in the works for so long. And then to have it also be right before the baby. Now I'm just like, oh man, I just really want to make sure that we get this done in time and that all of you can enjoy it. Because I feel like if I'm not able to finish this before the baby gets here, I really don't know when this project would be done. Like months and months and months and it's already been too long, so. I hope that it all comes together. And as of now, especially because Lou's been helping me so much, I mean, he kind of put a halt on everything else he was doing to help me finish this because I think he was nervous that it wouldn't get done, which I think that was fair. I'm moving slow these days in a good way. It's honestly really nice. And it was super fun to hang out all day. Oh my gosh.